What's up guys, Joe here for Joe Photos, and I got to use the Canon EOS R5 for the first time. I'm gonna give my impressions on it, who's the recommended to, and more. So let's roll the intro. So usually I'll give the general information, but I'm just going to compare it to the EOS R and give the differences. So the EOS R5 have a 45 megapixel camera compared to the R30. The R5 can do 20 frames per second compared to the 8 with the EOS R. The R5 can record in mono audio, but the EOS R can only record in stereo. And that's the main differences between the EOS R and the R5, which is little bit compared to the big price difference as you can see on the screen right now so let's get into the next segment so what am i going to do with it today i have two events planned and i'm just going to play some clips from that but with the second event i don't have any clips from that because our camera equipment died actually so let's just play the first event let's get it performed well i kind of did get a little warm at the photo shoots as you saw in the clips i was wearing my jacket and it was fairly warm as well but the camera was hot to the touch after that and especially on the hand grip where i was holding it due to my like body radiation and heat and that's, that's how time for the pros and the cons as i said in my eos r video watch it up here if you haven't already i said that the eos r is near too perfect the same thing with this camera but it has its imperfections as well but let's start off with the positives the first pro is the high continuous plus mode. This is a game changer and it's super fast. It can take 60 photos in one second and that's a lot. Pro 2, the set dial. This is a pretty good feature and I didn't use it, really use it to its full potential, but I'll save it the time from explaining what it can do. It can do everything the control ring can do. Pro 3, the autofocus joystick. This autofocus joystick is something I love. It can fix the autofocus if it's on the wrong spot without touching the screen. Pro 4 is the last pro for this video, and that's the built-in leveler. It makes my editing one step easier. Now it's time for the cons. Con 1. I don't know what this button is called, but I hate it. I can't use the control ring without pressing it. This button is just something I don't like, and I'm not able to use my control ring without pressing it. So it's like having to go an extra step just to use the control ring. And I don't like it. Rec this camera is recommended to whom? So I feel like I'm not ready for this camera body yet. I would say like I'm ready like three to four years now, but I've been in photography for three years. So that's that. So this camera is recommended to photographers who have been in the game for five to six years and who have photography as their primary job or is becoming a little more than a hobby. If you want an R5, but the price is stopping you, I mean, it will stop me too. $3,700 is not pocket money. But if you want, a, if you have a $2,000 budget, get the Canon R6. If you have have a $1,600 budget, go with the EOS R. If you have a $1,000 budget, go with the RP or R10. All right, thank you for watching this video. This is all I have for you for today. And if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe while you're at it. And if you want to share it to a friend, go ahead. So that's it. J Photos out. Peace.